I grew up in Roseland, a community on the far south side of Chicago, infamously known as the Wild Hundreds. This section of the city got its name for its tendencies towards violence. This once thriving middle class white community made its living working in the steel mill factories located there on the far southeast side of the city and over in the neighboring Indiana, which was a short commute on the Bishop Ford Expressway. By the late 60s, many of these factories began closing and moving their operation overseas. This caused Roseland white residents to move away, making room for the poor black families that migrated from the south, escaping harsh Jim Crow laws. With the absence of job opportunities, it didn't take long for the Roseland community to deteriorate, and crime quickly rose. It has been decades since those closures, and nothing has changed for the residents of Roseland or surrounding neighbors. Roseland became a poor working class community with a high crime and poverty rate a progressive drug and alcohol epidemic, a pervasive gang culture, and a corrupt and deadly police presence. Crime essentially became a way of life, and families learned to live with the violence. An armed struggle ensued over the only limited resources still available, drug blocks. For me and Dupree, it was the same. We were determined to carve out our own little existence right there in Roseland. more about Frank and Dupree, click on the link.